What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you the new fonts feature in iOS 13. So how to install fonts and also what you can do with fonts throughout iOS 13. So ever since the first beta of iOS 13 was announced many months ago, I've had hundreds of requests here on YouTube and on all my other social media accounts from people just wanting to know how the fonts work in iOS 13 and how to install custom fonts on their device. And for some reason a lot of people had this thought that Apple would just allow us to use custom fonts throughout the OS which is something I don't see ever happening with Apple. I just don't see them ever doing that. Custom fonts just kind of look clunky. They don't really look very clean and minimal, which is what Apple is known for. Now, I know some people like it. Some people would like to have like the app names, uh, you know, be in a different font and things like that, and just be able to text in different fonts and things like that. But I just don't see that ever happening. The real reason for introducing custom fonts into iOS 13 is to give us more creativity with our workflow, especially iPad users who use their iPad as like a creative workstation. Anything to do with fonts and anything creative is going to be a nice step forward for the iPad. And these custom fonts in iOS 13 will be especially useful when we get the real version of Photoshop for iOS and iPadOS, which will hopefully be coming later